Scroll 7th starting build for Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. The subclass likes Knowledge World, Knowledge Arcana, Lore Nature, Lore Religion, and use Magic Device for class skills and conversation skill checks. Why use Magic Device? You need use Magic Device always to the max when you level up with skills. If you want to be able to cast all scrolls without failure, this is a scroll casting base wizard after all. It's called Scroll Savant. You can't use armor, you're solid with ranged weapons and great with a quarterstaff. What we receive here are zero spells or better to say cantrips for free, huge boost when we cast spells from scrolls, detect magic of course, and a pet or better to say a familiar. Trick with this class is a starting school, if you don't pick one you will become universalist, but you will lose all boosts. A bit more about that later on. Race for scroll 7. Human Elf or Kin Kitsune is the way to go. And here I would pick Elf. For racial heritage, we're gonna stick with base Elf. Background selection. Regional, Underan Diplomat, Shelexian Diabolist, Nexian Scholar, Osirian Historian are the way to go. We're gonna pick Nexian Scholar for this build. Ability scores allocate ability points. For those that like to play it safe, we'll roll with 10, 12, 12, 18, 10 and 16. We're using Charisma because of use magic device. We're gonna cast a lot of spells with scrolls. For those that like to risk, we will go with 8, 12, 8, 20, 10, and 16. Again, big charisma because of use magic device for scroll 7th. From skills, just take all that is green and you're good to go. Just remember that use magic device is the most important thing for this subclass. Always max it out when you can. Fits. And uh, now this is a mess. There are at least five good ones for the start. And of course, classic greater spell focus evocation. Skill focus use magic device is great for the start. Spell penetration is great. Empower is solid, of course. Combat casting is very solid too. But we shall stick with safe choice. Spell focus, evocation, and we say next. Now, this is the thing that's specific to scroll 7's subclass. The school. Okay. If you picked evocation in feats, we pick evocation here. If you picked, I don't know, for example, divination starting feats, you'll pick divination specialist school. We stick with evocation in this case. Universalist is solid for advanced players because it offers extend, quicken, maximize and empower for free. It's probably the best option if you know what you're doing and how to play and conserve spells during combat. Of course, it will depend on the difficulty you're playing on too. I plan to go on unfair multiple times and I'll stick with evocation. Arcane Bond. If you know what you're doing, you'll pick Arcane Bond with an object. Because you won't profit out of perception from familiars. You won't level up perception on skills. You'll get that point into use magic device skill point. Best familiar to take is a duck, but we're gonna go with arcane bond here. From opposition school, we'll remove transmutation and illusion. Spells now. We take damage and we focus on evocation, burning hands for AoE, ear piercing scream for long range, flare, flare burst for some light magic missiles as the best starting spells in the game, shocking grasp when someone gets close, 
Snowball for long range crowd control. Summon Monster for more bodies on the field. And True Strike to boost your melee companions to actually hit something on the battlefield. Valid spells to take instead of Summon Monster and True Strike are Stone Fist and Protection from Alignment. Mage Armor is also very good. In the end, it's your choice. Deity, only one choice. It will be Netius because of the quarterstaff. Now, whether you wanna be good or evil, it's entirely your choice. Pick what you like the most.